Warning, this video is not a comprehensive guide to building a firearm. This is a prop item and nothing more. Nevertheless, anyone who may be adverse to watching content about said firearms, historical, fictional, or otherwise, should maybe skip this entry in DIY prop culture builds. In 2003, Disney released The Pirates of the Caribbean, and it is, to my knowledge, the only movie to date based on a theme park ride. Starring Johnny Depp in the titular role of Jack Sparrow, the movie was a nearly overnight success. The story revolves around Jack Sparrow's relationship with the crew of the Black Pearl, who mutinied him back when he was the captain, and left him stranded on an island with nothing but a pistol with a single shot, a shot that he's saving for a particular immortal captain. So, when it came time for Kelly Farah, the props director for the movie, to develop the concepts of the artists into reality, she got a hold of a real antique flintlock pistol for Jack Sparrow's one-shot sidearm. So this month, on DIY Prop Culture Build, we build Jack Sparrow's flintlock pistol from the Pirates of the Caribbean. For materials, you will need planting wire, tin foil, modeling clay, a half inch diameter PVC pipe, a dowel, hot glue, aluminum tape, cardboard, and dark brown spray paint. Start by sizing up your image on your computer and printing it out. Although it's not quite big enough to give you the true dimensions of the prop, being just an inch or two short, it will give you a good sense of its true form. Take the PVC and cut out the barrel to 8 inches. Taking the planting wire and the tin foil, curve the wire into the shape of the handle and stock of the pistol, and then use the tin foil to build up its form. Cut a dowel to 7 inches, and then use that with the tin foil to create the hole for the ramrod. Once that's done, Use the clay and model the stock and the handle. This will be the form of the gun, so be very precise with it and feel free to go over it a couple of times. Once it's dry, sand it down and get out the brown spray paint. Paint both the pistol and the ramrod. At about this point in my build, I had removed the ramrod and part of the inner tube had collapsed. This made it impossible to fit it in without breaking the gun, so I decided to cut it down and make it a permanent fixture. It wasn't really what I had in mind initially, but hey, it works. Take the cardboard and cut out the several different pieces for the slide plate, the striker, and <clears throat> the cock arm. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's actually called, apparently. I bet you didn't know that before you watched this video today. I used wire to support the striker and the arm, and then glued them all into place. I attempted to build it in such a way to let the arm move as it does in reality, and that, again, didn't really work out. Ugh, I'm two for two on this build with the setbacks. No matter, we're almost done. Take the hot glue and model the face on the pommel. Once it's dry, use the aluminum tape to cover it.
Cover the barrel with the tape and glue in the ramrod. Use your wire to build up the skeleton of the trigger and guard. Use the aluminum tape and the cardboard to make a wider shield for it. And there you go, you have your very own flintlock pistol. This build was a solid medium for difficulty. It didn't take too long once I actually got down to it, only a couple of days, and the setbacks that I ended up having realistically wouldn't happen if I did the project a second time. For cost, this put me at about 15 bucks once it's all said and done. Thank you for watching. If you have a suggestion for a prop, please leave a comment below. And if you want to check out my other social medias where you can purchase a commission, check out a live stream, or browse my gallery, then you can do so at these links. And as always, if you enjoyed my video and you want to see more, then turn on the bell to get notified when I upload next.